You used to just be in a corner yeah. and people wouldn't even really look at you, people would just be dancing. Like Your job was to just make people dance. They were the, the curator and they brought new music to the club no one had ever heard before. I suppose like the idea of like a superstar DJ, like someone who's up on stage and everyone's like, and they're just up there fist bumping, like that's to me is a kind of a new thing. A lot of people are being booked as producers to DJ, which is like a byproduct of producing music. Now to make money to produce more music you have to play gigs. So I think mostly DJs now are actually producers, not DJs. Having 35 DJs in every six hour party to like boost your ticket sales or whatever. And you would be playing like a 45 minute or a half an hour set. If you used to have three hours where you could actually go on this tangent and then bring them back here and bring them back there, that's sort of been lost a little bit. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud. I mean, for the artists, I think it's always important to just be really genuine themselves. It could be like, you know, a little bit of an extension of themselves, like slightly exaggerated, but essentially them so fans can connect with them on a more personal level. We found humor works pretty well. Yes, yeah. we're young ish guys, so maybe we're still hip and a bit cool. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> we'll always try and respond to a Facebook message or a um, Twitter. We're like quite happy to party after our set, so. I guess we connect with fans. And that shows we always talk, we to, talk people. to people. Yeah. But I would like to think we're pretty approachable. Yeah, we're nice genuine dudes. Guys. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 The underground definitely still exists. Of course, the underground still exists. I catch a train to work every day. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, like how else would I get to work? The underground is really like thriving in Sydney at the moment. Internationally, I mean. DC 10, we lived in IB. Berlin. Yeah. yeah. Every, uh, everywhere's got an underground scene. Amazing labels, cool DJs. Illegal raves. Illegal raves that go all night. There has to be a pole opposite to what else is happening in the scene. If you got the mainstream, then you got the underground, and then you got everything in between, and that's just the balance, the balance of dance music.